think a lot of people find, you know, the gallery and, and art sometimes a little hard. If they don't know a lot about it, they find it quite hard to access and, and feel that they belong, you know. And I think it's really nice to be able to bust that out a little bit. When did you get there? Did you get there at the start of the night? Or? I did. I got there at the start of the night, just as the sun was setting. It's beautiful. I guess just um, being in the, in the gallery after hours is a bit of a novelty. It does so, have a different feeling, yeah. doesn't it? It's quite a special experience to be able to come to the gallery when it's dark outside and, and, and the gallery take on a different atmosphere and a different feel and we can shake it up a little. What did what was your first initial thought when you when you arrived at the gallery that night? It was really busy. It was already quite a like a great energy building. What was your favourite element? Ah, just watching so many people have, have fun and people spilling off into all the different gallery spaces and, and experiencing the art and then they'd come back together at different points for, you know, the big sort of talks and I just loved watching how the night flowed. It was really interesting hearing Sarah Blasco talk um, about the Sydney Moderns exhibition and then her work and how she's working with visual artists. Yeah, she was really interested in, in coming along and doing it. She was fantastic. We came down a minute or two to spare. I could not believe how many people were there, so that was quite a um, surprise. <laughs> dancing was great and there was definitely a very energetic atmosphere. People were really open to, you know, chatting and I think it, you know, opened up the community atmosphere, which is really nice. I was so excited to see the gallery alive like that. It is a, a very inclusive program, I think there's something for everybody. You can, you know, choose your own adventure a little bit.